Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, we're going to do a subscriber request as I usually do and today's question was how to model the fabric that you see on a Chesterfield couch. Okay, so the leather with the buttons on it and so forth, right? So let's get started. We're going to take a, uh, a polygon cylinder. We're going to hit Control A to pull up our attribute editor. We're going to go in and we're going to set our subdivision level to 8 like so and then we're gonna right click go to face drag select everything with the exception of the top there and hit delete okay then we're gonna make sure this thing is sitting on our grid so we're gonna right click go to vertex drag select all of them hit W to move it and hold down X while you move it down so it will snap like that all right then we're gonna right click and go to edge and we're gonna select that outer edge all the way around and we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude hit R to scale that out to about there and then we're going to switch to our top view and we're going to right click at a vertex drag select that hit W to move it and once again hold down X to snap it and I'll do the same here so drag select it and hold down X as you move it uh, let's keep on going there you go just have a look make sure it's all okay yeah looks all right we're gonna hit four for wireframe mode so we can kind of see where our lines are going and they all seem to be okay which is nice all right then we're gonna drag select the vertex in the middle and we're gonna push it down quite a bit like so we're gonna right click go to edge and we're gonna select the diagonal edges like that we're gonna go to edit mesh and bevel and then let's set the fraction to 0 0.1 all right that looks okay we're then going to right click at a face and we're going to select these faces right there. And we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude. Hit W and push that down just a little bit. Don't go crazy on that. And now we have to fix something. So we're going to Q on our keyboard. We're going to go to our top view and we're going to start to straighten out these corners up here. So hit 4 for wireframe mode. We're going to right click, go to vertex, drag like this guy. Hit W to move it and hold down X once again to snap it. And do the same with this one. We're going to move over to the right. Select it, snap it, select it, and snap it. The same down here. And snap it, and snap it. Okay, select one here. Yep, hang on, and come on and snap that one as well there we go so this is what we have so far we're gonna hit 5 for shaded mode we're gonna right click and go to object mode select it and hit 3 to preview smooth and that is not bad at all okay so we're gonna hit 1 to go back select that and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click go to edge select that edge all the way around and go to edit mesh and extrude hit R to scale it out and just very slightly pull that out okay we're gonna right click at object mode hit 3 okay 
Now, instead of hitting three, I'm gonna hit one to go back and I'm gonna go up to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. All right, we're gonna jump to our top and let's see how clean our corner is, which is nice. Okay, and then we are going to create our little button. So for that, take a polygon sphere. Let's hit three to preview smooth that, looks fine. So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that down. And then from this view, hit F to zoom in, four for rifle mode. And we're gonna hit W and pull that down. And let's see how that looks. Okay, this guy needs to be flattened a little bit. So we're gonna hit R. Uh, let's just uh, push that down. F to zoom in. W to pull down a bit. Okay. We're gonna select the whole thing. We're gonna go to mesh and combine. There we go. Then we're gonna select it again. We're gonna go to edit, delete by type history modify freeze transformation there we go and then we're going to control d to duplicate w to move it over and we want that to snap together so we're going to hold down w and we're going to hold down v to snap the vertices and that's not uh, actually yeah I need to move my pivot point, so I'm going to hit the insert key. And then I'm going to hit W and hold down V so that it will snap to that edge right there. That's what I want. And then I'm going to hit W again, hold down V, and snap it over th so these two are now connected. Okay. I'm going to hit Shift D to repeat that process. So three, four, five, six. That's fine. Then select the whole thing. Go to Mesh and Combine. I'm going to move my pivot point up to the edge right there. So again, hold down V to snap to vertex. Oh, sorry. Hit the Injured key first. Hold down V. There you are. Control D to duplicate. Hold V once. Come on. Uh, w to move it. Snap to a vertex, and then Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. Okay, so that will give us a section of our fabric. Let's pull that up. Have to zoom in. Okay, so that's that effect there. Now we're gonna select the whole thing. Go to Edit, Delete by Type, History modify and freeze transformations. Now let's say we want to add a curve in this fabric because it's gonna be the top section of a couch. We'll select it, we'll go to deform. Let's go to nonlinear and bend. We're gonna rotate the bend handle. So we're gonna hit E to rotate. Hold down J to snap in sections of 15 degrees as we move down like so. And then we're going to go into our bend handle and let's start to, okay, you can see it's bending in the wrong direction. So hit control Z to go back. We need to rotate again. So hold down J and come on. And rotate it in this, no, not that direction. Having some trouble moving the bend handle. Okay. So this should be minus 180. Now let's give that another try. So we're gonna to go to a bend handle again. Still not there. Come on. There's my bend handle. Come on, come on, come on. Um, just kind of searching here for a sec, guys. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so now we can tweak that curve. T 
to, let's say, something like so, maybe a bit less, just to give you a sense, all right? And just to make this uh, kind of pop a little, uh, I'm just gonna jump into Keyshot to texture it. You don't have to. This kind of tells you what to do as far as modeling is concerned, but I just want to make it pop. So I'm just gonna drag select all of this. I'm gonna go to Edit, Delete by Type History to get rid of that bend handle. And then I'm gonna drag select and go to mesh and combine. I'm gonna to go to modify and center pivot and modify freeze transformations, okay? So I got this guy selected. I'm gonna to go to file, uh, export selection. And I'll call this Chester field FBX. Save it on my desktop. And now I'm gonna jump over into Keyshot, give it some texture and see you guys in a bit. Hi right, guys, so we arrived in um, Keyshot. Uh, I'm gonna load up my model. So I'm gonna go to File, Import, and I'm gonna take my Chesterfield FBX, open that up. And there we go, give that a sec. So there you have it, all right? Now. Let's give this some texture. So we're going to go into our materials. Let's see where's my leather at. It's under cloth and leather. Let's take leather basic. And let's find something that looks okay. We'll do the brown leather. There you go. And as you can see, uh, the texture of the leather is very, very large. So we're going to double click on it. And then we're going to go to textures. We're going to scroll down. And in a mapping tool, we're going to turn off rotate and translate. And with skill selected, we're going to start to manipulate the leather texture. And I'll scroll in a bit so we can see it better. And some more. That is starting to look like leather. There you go. All right. So now that we have that, we're gonna give that the green light. Let's add a background. We'll go with a white solid. Now lighting should make a huge difference here. So we're gonna go to environment and let's give this a try. I'll go with interior. That pops nicely, but let's see if we got something else that looks better. That certainly does not. Let's try that. Uh, maybe not so much. Let's try uh, maybe panel lighting. So panels. And I'm looking for my overhead. There you go. Panel, no. Nope. We're gonna go back to our interior and we're gonna take this one. Yeah. So let's zoom in. So we kind of have a good sense of what that should look like. There you go. And we are going to go into, let's go into our render view. We're going to go to render and I'll call this Chesterfield. And we'll do, um, 1280 by 720 and 300 dpi all right i'm going to pause the video render this out and see you guys in a bit okay guys well there you have it i uh, just uh, clipped the final uh, rendering in uh, maya and uh, spruced up the uh, contrast and so forth but as you can see it uh, turned out okay looks uh, quite realistic i think um so this is a method that you can use all right. Well, as always, if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.